Welcome back. An Aussie mum is one step closer to making cosmic history, vying to become the first Australian woman astronaut. That's right. Nine's US correspondent Jonathan Kersley caught up with her in Houston as she looks to make her space dream a reality. In a place far, far away from home, this is one small move for Catherine. There we go. One giant leap for her dream. It was tight on the head coming through, but once I got the right angle, it was fine. Catherine Benel Pegg is reaching for the stars. How's this feel, Catherine? Finally having this helmet on, you got the torso on. You're almost ready to go. I'm almost ready to go. I definitely feel one step closer. This is the first time Catherine has donned a spacesuit. I've got plenty of room in here to move around and uh, I could scratch my head against the side if I needed to, I think. The 39-year-old engineer from the space agency in Adelaide and mother of two originally from Sydney's northern beaches is Australia's first female astronaut candidate. When I first saw this uh, Australian flag on the flight suit, it was a special moment. She's travelled to Houston, a home to NASA, and where Collins Aerospace has been developing the next generation spacesuit for astronauts bound for the International Space Station and beyond. So would you normally drop this to have an extended envelope? You, you, can, you can do that. Every basic movement is tested, as are others needed to help work in space. You can see your work envelope has now decreased pretty dramatically, right? Yeah. This suit is lighter than others and has taken five years to get to this stage. Okay. It could be another three before it travels beyond Earth. Okay, I always had a philosophy when doing a spacewalk is make yourself right. Guiding Catherine through this process is Danny Olivas. He's been to space twice and knows what it's like to have your office outside high above the Earth's surface. What's it like passing on your words of wisdom to the next generation? It's exciting. Space is about the future. And so we have to constantly be looking you know, above and beyond. Catherine is not the only Australian here. Brisbane company Ray Tracer for its virtual reality technology that it hopes could be fitted inside this helmet to help astronauts train for space. That's where Catherine wants to be. Her training so far has seen her practice stitching wounds, improving survival skills and earning diving qualifications. That so-called basic astronaut training with the European Space Agency finishes in April. It's moments like these that make you step back and go, wow, you know, what would my 10-year-old self be thinking right now? Venturing into space has been a wonder of mankind for decades, but of the 634 who've been fortunate enough to travel well beyond Earth, just 73 have been women. That's just over 10%. So making Catherine's dream a reality is about so much more than fulfilling her own ambition. Uh, when I speak to kids that want to be astronauts, I say, you know, don't tell me you want to be an astronaut. Tell me what you want to do by being an astronaut. You know, what problems do you want to help solve? What do you want to help discover? Still at the front of her mind, her own children. What do you reckon the kids will think when they see mums in the space suit? <laughs> they want one, I think. <laughs> I think they want one opening the next frontier to the next generation. Oh, how wow. nice. Wow. Jonathan Kersley joins us now live. John, a beautiful story. Well done, mate. Um, what happens next for this Sydney mum? Well, April, she'll finish her basic uh, astronaut training with the European Space Agency. Then she is no longer just an astronaut candidate and that dream becomes a little bit closer. Then it's over to, can she get selected for a mission? There's a couple more years of training before that takes place. And then it could be her dream becoming a reality. This is a, a remarkable story of a remarkable woman who grew up on Sydney's northern beaches, became an engineer at the Australian Space Agency uh, based in Adelaide and is now working to go far beyond this earth. Catherine is ready for takeoff, a little bit more work to go, but uh, all kudos to her. She hopefully one day will be bound for the stars. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I'm back. blown away by this story. Jono, thank you. There you go. Chase your dreams, kids. Yes. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?